Crypto Dog of the Rescue here. Smash the like button, hit the bell, comment below. I'll host my channel and the dogs that I'll be rescuing in the future. So let's get right into it here. Uh, you know, still working on want to sear it in everybody's head. This universal crypto style technique, however you want to call it, um, using the simple moving averages, your MACD, the Fibonacci, and the language of the candles. Okay. Those are the things I use, and I, again, I want to sear this in everybody's head on how well this works. Any coin you use, Bitcoin, Ethereum, Cardano, it doesn't matter which one you use as long as you're using these technical analysis, analysis indicators. And of course, I'm using it on a four-hour chart because I'm swing trading on this one. So the last one I did, I was at work and I wanted to touch on how the Fibonacci worked and what I, you know professionals look at with the halfway mark, the 0.5 mark on Fibonacci and actually real Fibonacci come to cousins numbers acting as support resistant lines, right? Um, so now, I, last one I was kind of talking about a perfect storm possibly happening here and this is kind of what's going on at the moment. So I had to re retrace another Fibonacci because again, there's the high and now there's the new low and it's gone back up. Uh, in the middle here, kind of, you know, kind of resisting uh, on the 618 line now, um, passing the, the 0.5. So I made a trade, small trade here, um, when it crossed over the 10, and I saw this big gap of the MACD starting to thin. So it kind of told me that I could probably make some small profit here, at least if it didn't get, you know, close enough to the... Um, uh, divergence line or cross over the divergence line talking about the blue line here as opposed to the orange line convergence divergence so if the convergence line crossed over uh, I would have been very very profitable but I, I kind of figured that the gap between the two if you can't see that I'll try to go to see this big gap right here um, and then you can see where I bought in at 1 261 I believe or 266 and then I cashed out at 271 right here on this wick um, to get my uh, two to four ratio, which I got five bucks out of it, which was great. Um, and again, I'm just doing these trades just for these videos using one Ethereum to US on my Kraken wallet. So you uh, fiat wallet. So um, again, I just want to show you that this works, right? And so I kind of moving back here, I was sort of getting talking about how the 100 MA, I'm going to look in here, this blue line here is the 100 MA and it starts running flat, it becomes kind of king with a magnetic effect. It's, it, it's king when it comes to a support resistant line, a major support resistant line, because it's flat. Um, and, and again, kind of going looking back here, the last time that the candles touched the blue, which is the 100 MA, was way back here. Um, and, and the reason why I mention that is because look, look at the, the, the big bull run it hit, and it's gone very, very far away from, from the, uh, the 100 MA. And now it's come back. It's touched 100 MA. And now it's, you know, um, is it going to do this again? I guess is the question. Is it going to do this type of rally again and go back up? Um, or, is, you know, is it going to go back down and do a small correction based on this whole rally? And then you got to worry about the 50% line between that huge Fibonacci, if that's the way it works. So uh, thank you, Alexa. Uh, Alexa, tell me to walk my dogs. Um, so anyway, and she's going to tell me again here in a second. So when it comes down to this Fibonacci on this, um, now you can see that it's corrected back. I sold out right here, so I made a $5 profit. Uh, it's gone down. It didn't break the 10 MA, so I'm watching it. I'm watching it. Okay, it, 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 it crossed over the 10 MA, so I'm watching it, right? And I really didn't see it cross over the MACD. Um, you know, that, that's a weak one that became real strong. So of course I start looking at it here. Um, and, and it didn't. So then I was starting to correct back down to the 10 MA hasn't crossed under the 10 MA. And again, this is going to be a strong support resistant because it, you know, the, the hundred MA is completely flat. So it, it, it could resist right there and then, you know, possibly go back up and it can, re, you know, resist right here at the 10 MA and then possibly go back up. As you can see now, new candles just started and it's starting to turn green based on this candle language just behind it. And I'm not looking five, 10 behind. I'm looking like two, maybe three behind. And as you can see, the reds are starting to take these candles over. Uh, that's a, kind of a neutral win for the, for the sellers. 
And now this one is kind of, uh, I would say, in a kind of a neutral win as well. So as you can see, it closed right there, and now it's opened right there green. So, you know, we had a fight there right at the end um, where the greens didn't want it. The greens basically just were eating it back up. It was a stalemate with that wick until it was forced to close based on time frame. And now, look, the greens are starting out with this new candle. So that's kind of how the candle language works with all this. And that's why I wanted to show everybody. Now look, the MACD is kissing. Seems like it's starting to move away a little bit as opposed to just riding each other. So we'll see. So if, if it's gonna move away down or up, um, but it's riding right on that 15 point on the MACD. Um, so we'll see what happens. It's not really showing me too much indicators for triggers. You know, again, is this a perfect storm coming up? Um, we shall see. Uh, but as you can see from the last time that it touched the blue line way back here, uh, it caused a little rally, kind of the same thing. Um, again, this isn't going to, it's not going to repeat history completely perfectly. Um, but, you know, it, if everybody is thinking uh, more than not that it's going to go down, then possibly it'll go back up just based on, uh, you know, professional traders and so on. Um, and, uh, you know, big feet, big elephants in, in the market uh, want to put a foot down uh, and change the market and make even more profits on everybody. So, I mean, it's, it's cutthroat. Without uh, the SEC and, and a lot of regulations in here, it's just you have to consider these things. And, you know, when I consider them, it seems to uh, help me out more than not on my percentages. Small percentages, but it helps me out more than not. And that's why I work on probabilities uh, more than anything um, just based on that's what you're supposed to do. You know, you're supposed to put, you know, I put about seven and a half percent on my 10 MA, about seven and a half percent on my 100 MA, seven and a half percent here, you know, maybe 5% here. And then at least, you know, then around 10 on my candle language. So seven and a half to 10. So, you know, it adds up to about 80% total, uh, 30%, um, on my probabilities if they all help me out, which will get me up to about 80% if all goes well. But, you know, if I hit about 70, 75 percent, I'm good that, with that and I'll, I'll buy in, which is what I bought in here. It was kind of a lower probability percentage that I was going to go crazy up. But the percentage of it going up a little bit to make a two to four ratio win, I did. So I, I sold that at yeah, 171 around just over 171 um, and at around 266 is when I bought in uh, just over 266. So uh, it's a great small little trade on a four hour chart. Um, but I just I, I didn't see. I didn't see it crossing when it started to kind of go level uh, parallel with the, the blue and orange are going parallel right here if you can't see that. And that's when I sold out. So, um, you know, I'm honing my skill and it's looking good. And I hope everybody uh, will, um, you know, consider this as a trade universal trade technique and go try it on your own coins and see what happens. You know, uh, I, I know people that use five and 50. Uh, and simple moving averages, and that seems to help them out more. I haven't honed my skill in that much, so I'm using the 10 and 100 from the 20 and 200 MA was where I started, and uh, it, you know it's working great for me. I'm, I'm, I'm staving off losses, and I'm getting the gains that I feel like I've been missing out on when I was using the 2200, um, just basically based on my honing my skill. So, um, you know, things to consider. Uh, but again, I just want to show everybody that this is a wor winning way. I now have done eight out of nine trades and they're winning trades. Um, so, you know, Casino's Edge, you know, you just want to have way more wins than losses. And even if you had a loss, uh, it would be a $2 loss and not a $4 loss as opposed to $4 wins is my basically my minimum for these. So with that type of trading strategy and my goals set, uh, the triggers happen and then and that's when I buy in. So now we're coming to a precipice here. Oh yeah, that, see now it's turning red. So now the reds are starting to take it over, right? And we're only six minutes into this candle. Um, and again, another thing I try to do as well is I, I'll try to get in at the end of candles. Um, I, I don't wanna get in at the beginning of the candle because as you can see, this one started green and now look, it's starting red. So it's a four hour candle. So I usually get in at the end of these candles, you know, about the last 30 minutes to maybe the last 10 minutes of the candle um, and, and try to go from there. Cause then you can predict a little bit better about, I wouldn't say predict, but you know, probability wise, what the next one is going to start out on based on the candle language. And this one worked. As you can see the gap, you know, sh shrunk on the MACD. Um, it had some ways to go. I probably could have gone out right here, but 
Um, I, I staved it be just based on it was green. This one became weak. That's when I started looking at it. And when it started turning all red, I, I just got out and took my profits. Uh, once it started kind of seeing this type of stuff happening, yeah, I, I'm, I'm out. Uh, just because I don't want to play this whole up and down game on this market. Well, after, after it just kissed, and again, you know, we don't know if it's going to start another rally like we just had for the past month. But um, it, again, it's just setting yourself up and being confident in your trading and your percentages and probabilities. And uh, I wasn't confident at that point where it was going. Glad I got out and it just kind of just, you know, corrected back to the 10 MA, which is fine. So we'll see right now. So now it's at 267. So it's actually higher than what I bought in for last time. So. We'll see where it goes from here, you know, but again, this is going to act as my support, major support resistant as if it does come back here and I see it starting to bounce up again, I'm definitely getting in down here um, just based on the flatness of this. Um, this wasn't flat right here, as you can see, so I wasn't really too confident in getting in right here, which is why I waited to get in right here. So there's a lot of considerations, a lot of weird things that I have to think about, but I wasn't confident. So it's as simple as that. You know, I wasn't confident, so I didn't get in. And, you know, people say, you missed all this right here. That was like 12, 13 bucks plus, and it's fine. It's fine with me. If you want to go in there and say that and put less probability on your wins and, you know, go for broke, basically, is kind of what you're doing. Is you're putting it back to 50-50 probabilities, um, and it doesn't work for anybody when you're doing 50-50s. You're lucky at that point if it does sway in your way. So... Uh, that's it for this one, but I did want to show everybody kind of what's going on. So, uh, my name is Crypto Dog to the rescue. Please like, subscribe, hit the bell, comment below. Uh, has no value to you. It's great value to me and the dogs I'll be rescuing in the future when I get my crowdfunding going and, uh, I can open up my rescue, uh, up north. So you guys have a good day. Keep up the grind. <laughs>